What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Dirky Chan. Today, I'm going to do a quick comparison of two of the best-selling Cinchilla sweaters that Patagonia has. This is one of the hottest items. It is a quarter button-up sweater that you can wear. Super casual, super, super comfortable. The fleece that they have here is very soft. And it has a lot of technical features like the triple buttons and the side pocket that really give you that extra adventurous vibe that I really like. Now, Patagonia does offer two versions of the sweater. This black one here is the uh, original cinchilla sweater and the bottom one is the lightweight cinchilla sweater. Now, the price difference between these two is $10. The original Patagonia cinchilla will run you about... 149 US dollars, whereas the lightweight on the bottom will run you about $139. Now, in my opinion, you could get these for cheaper during sales. I've seen the original go down to 130 ish to 115 And then for the lightweight, I've seen this go for $100, but only on the funky colors. Now, let's go over the similarities that we have. Um, both of these, they stop at the hip length. The sleeves are the same length and the collars are the same length. So measurement wise, they're pretty much similar in terms of length, uh, neck to bottom to the hip and wrist to the shoulder. It's pretty much the same. They all have this pocket here, this left chest pocket, which holds quite a lot of stuff. You could fit a wallet in here, maybe a phone and they both have the same material and size pocket in here. Uh, so they didn't change much there. And the neck snap, pretty much the same. Three button neck snap on the original and on the bottom also a three button neck snap that has a nylon lined over it. So not many differences there. Now the differences are in the material. So the original Cinchilla, they use a thicker fleece. This one has a 100% recycled polyester double-sided fleece that is very soft, holds heat, and dries very quickly. You will sweat in this if you wear it indoors, but the way it's constructed, you will get some nice airflow. Whereas the lightweight Cinchilla, if you wear this indoors, you'll feel just right and you won't sweat as much. Uh, but the thickness is noticeable. So as you can see, the black one is double-sided. So basically, it's a bit more throwable. The gray one already has some wear and tear on the fleece. You see how it's kind of separating already, whereas the original one, the fleece is still very compact. Not too disoriented. Now, the next difference that I noticed is the weight. So the heavyweight comes in at 18 ounces of heavy duty fleece, whereas the lightweight comes in at just about 13 ounces. So that's a five ounce difference. You're only gonna pay a $10 difference. So I highly recommend you check out the heavyweight fleece because you're getting a lot more bang for your buck in terms of what you're getting. Now, for right now, I won't do the on fit yet, but the original one does have a more relaxed fit, definitely in the body area and in, in, in the sleeves. It's a lot more loose, a lot more comfortable. It literally feels like a big blanket. You're wearing a big old Snuggie. Whereas the lightweight one fits pretty regularly in terms of Patagonia sizing. Now, sizing down, sizing up, I went with a, I think, medium in both of these. And I actually like the fit of the medium of the original more, because it's a bit more boxy. Whereas the uh, lightweight, really standard fit. If I were to go back in time, I would get the lightweight in a large size up for a boxy fit. And true to size, if you want a boxy fit for the original, size down if you want a regular fit for the original. All right, moving on. Another difference that I'm, I'm not sure why they made this difference, but in the lightweight, the collar has the double-sided fleece, 
while the body doesn't. But in the original, the collar has the single fleece, whereas the body is double-sided. So you could feel a slight difference between these two collars. Why they did that, I am not sure. I would have expected the original to have a thick collar, like the lightweight, just to be consistent with the whole sweater being thick. Uh, but my guess is maybe the whole sweater was already too hot, so they made a lighter collar um, for better airflow. I'm not sure. Uh, personally, I wish they had this thicker collar on the lightweight attached onto the heavyweight. That's one thing uh, that I wasn't sure about why they did that. Uh, but other than that, technical features wise, that's about it for the differences. Uh, in terms of colors, the lightweight cinchilla has a lot more colors, a lot more vibrant colors. Whereas the original only has your black, navy blue and cream colors. So I would recommend you buy the heavyweight fleece or the original fleece in the black and cream colors if that's what you're looking for and then for the lightweights go for all the funky colors personally i wouldn't get the lightweights just because for ten dollars more you get a lot more value for that ten dollars in the heavyweight but yeah that's all i really have guys those are the key differences both of these will keep you warm indoors but the original will keep you warmer outdoors whereas the a uh, lightweight cinchilla, you might need a shell or another main layer when going in the outdoors. I've worn the cinchilla in 30 degree weather outside just as is and it got pretty chilly. Wind really seeps through this fleece. Whereas for the heavyweight, you won't get as much wind bleed when you wear it outside. But I wouldn't wear this as a main layer in temperatures under 40. It can get a bit nippy. But yeah, that's all I have, guys. Let me know if I miss any differences. Other than that, I absolutely love these sweaters. And they're going to be in heavy rotation this fall. But yeah, definitely get this original. I mean, just look, look at the, the pilling already on my uh, lightweight one. It's kind of falling apart already, whereas the original is still nice and spongy. But yeah, that's all I have, guys. Hopefully this video helps. Now to the on-body look. Thank you. All right, guys and gals, as you can see, this is the lightweight cinchilla. The fit in the body is a bit more tapered. This is a regular fit. The sleeves are nice and baggy, but not overly baggy like the original. Sometimes I wear these cropped just to have a better proportion. I like the tight waistband on the bottom, really holds the crop well. But yeah, overall, very comfortable sweater, lightweight. The fabric drapes a lot better than the original and sometimes I roll up the sleeves for a more clean look. Alright so here we have the original, the OG Cinchella. The body, the mid midsection is a lot more boxy, it's a lot less draping and the sleeves have a lot more fabric in it. But other than that, it's a thicker fleece, so this feels a lot better on your body. Big old blanket.